When did you start playing? So I started when I was 12. Um, I was a competitive gymnast, got injured pretty bad a couple times, and mm-hmm. then switched over to golf. And was it easy to pick up? See, the thing about golf, and I casual at best <laughs> over the years, and I didn't really play for the first 25 years of my life, and I played a little bit, and then I played a little bit more, and then I kind of fell off trying to play a little bit more. But golf can be expensive, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Is it becoming Absolutely. more accessible for people? Definitely. I think when people have this idea of golf, they think of um, old men in a country club drinking beer and smoking cigars. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, that's some of that's it. The life that's, life. Jason, <laughs> that's why Jason embraces it. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. With that he wraps but... his arms around <laughs> it. So, by the way, she said old guys. Yeah. <laughs> right? and we are old. We, we, fit, we fit the demo, right. sadly. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think it's a great social activity to get out there, and it's great for everyone of all ages. But when I grew up, I didn't have a lot of money. And so um, I would clean the pro shop to get golf balls. And um, what I wear now is kind of what I was wearing before because I couldn't afford golf clothes. So I'd wear just whatever I could find in my closet. So there are ways to get around it. You can go to driving ranges. I feel most comfortable, you know, at one of those dog tracks of a (laughs) golf course. (laughs) And, you know, like tin cup style. But um, hitting, you can get buckets of balls for like less than $5. You can play golf courses. You know, there's... There's things you can do to play. Everyone can play. It can be expensive. I mean, but that's the same thing with everything. You can get a really expensive car, but it'll still get you to, you know, point A to point B. So It's also time consuming. I mean, you know, a married guy has got to tell his wife, all right, it's, it's going to be a seven or eight hour commitment. Now, it's fine with, for me. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine with that. Right. I like how his becomes now, seven or well, eight hours. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I can pull it in like it's five, five hours on the course, but then well, it's you two drive hours to the socializing. Course. Yeah, you're driving yeah. to the course, you're driving home, you're having yeah. a cocktail after the round or two or three. <laughs> um, so it's it can be time consuming. Yes, it could be expensive because equipment's not cheap. Uh, if you want to look the part out there, clothes aren't cheap. Yeah. Right. Um, but, you know, I love it. I'm addicted to it. And and golf was at its peak, obviously, when Tiger was as dominating. Right. Yeah. Everyone was golf courses, new golf courses. Uh, and then when Tiger uh, went through his struggles, it took a dip. And the golf industry definitely took a dip. But do you, do you feel like it's coming back? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I was at yeah. the Masters uh, this year. And obviously, Tiger's making his comeback. And it just had see, this I energy. I did see you at the Masters. What did you do? Just hanging out. Yeah, I met with my dad. Um, He needed to lose weight, and I said, if you lost a certain amount of weight, I'll take you to the Masters. And Mm. he ended up losing, uh, I think, over 35 pounds. So we went to the Masters this year. So just to enjoy it. It was his first time there. Right, but you feel like golf's coming back. But yeah, it was, the energy there was just crazy. And you even see it now at, like, all the PGA Tour events. Like, there's massive crowds. Right. And everyone's just so excited because you have, you know, the young guys with Jordan and Justin and Rory and Ricky, and then you have Tiger coming back, and then you still have, you know, some of the really the greats playing really well. So mm-hmm. um, it's definitely on the up, and I think the biggest thing is just bringing more diversity into the game, mm-hmm. and that's just maybe, you know, you said it's time-consuming, so why can't we offer, like, a six-hole or, like, you know, different options, three holes, whatever it may be, just so we can get people out there to play. Right. And I think that people just need to kind of open up their mind and say, like, yeah, golf is 18 holes, or golf might be this way, I've but let's bring more three people holes in. Before. I've <laughs> had respectable scorecards through three holes. I'm bad through every hole, but I, I'm kind of with her on if I could go and play a three hole round yeah. or a six hole round. Just sneak out before. I'd after be work. done in an hour. <laughs> that, that's more palatable to me. Well, I mean, you might can play be nine. Something there. What's wrong uh-huh. with nine? Nine's a lot. <laughs> three or six. <laughs> I'll be you back in. Nine, the double. Popping out. The three, I think, three I can master. Paige, have you become friendly with any of the tour play, like the the younger crew, like the Rickies or the Jordans or the, you know, uh, Rory's? Have you become friendly with them? So I, I grew up playing with Justin Thomas, and he's a good friend of mine. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's really cool to see him being super successful. Um, through all the media work, I spent some time with Rory in Dubai, and he's an awesome guy. So, yeah, I um, I was a starter also in Dubai, so I met everyone there that day. And uh, you start to meet these guys, and they're they're really good guys. So mm-hmm. it's it's fun to see them. Is being that right. Dubai? Was yeah, that Dubai? I played that, first and then obviously had a very terrible experience. <laughs> and so why well, was that? Just because you were just so nervous? Um, so it was my very first tour event, right. and it ended up turning into this big spectacle of like 
I don't know, like, why is she here? Does she deserve it? Like, all this stuff. Right. And so the very first time I was so nervous, I was just, I couldn't handle it. I was like a, a wreck. And it was very obvious I was just a Just to wreck. take a step back, for those that don't know, give us your golf background and why okay. get to that point yeah. <laughs> of she doesn't deserve it. Because you weren't on the LPGA. No, you played no. in college, right? Yeah, so I uh, played junior golf, had a good junior golf career, had a full ride to San Diego State University. And I... After I was done, I didn't have the financial needs to be able to play. So um, I just so happened to – it's such a weird story. So someone wrote an article about me, ended up going viral, and then overnight I gained a ton of followers, and then it just kind of snowballed into this, I guess, sensation, mm-hmm. social media sensation. An influencer. An influencer. And I ended up getting an invite to um, this tournament.